afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Today, I'm going to be talking about action. Action is defined as the fact or process of doing something, typically to achieve a goal, something done or performed. It's like an act or a deed. Last week, I spoke part one, and I said that actions come from your life perspective, which comes from your attitude. Attitude determines your choices. Choices create decisions. You make an action out of your decisions, and that produces a result. A couple interesting things about actions, which I spoke to last week, which is they come from decisions, your judgment. Doing nothing is an action. Actions don't lie. Actions produce a result. We own our actions, and usually with your action you have a target. And that's what I'll be talking about today. So it's really, this is the meat of the speech here in action. <clears throat> Doesn't it seem like everything we do creates a credit or debit in the action economy? It's like a video game. Someone's keeping track. This can be easily proved through a scientific experiment. So can the next four items that I'm gonna be talking about. The first thing is the target. So if I gave everybody in this room three darts and I said, hit the target, where would you throw the target? The you? idea is, is where is the target? <laughs> That's the first question, right? <laughs> so that, that brings up the question. So when you're creating an action, usually you have something in mind or you have something in mind you don't want to do. There's usually a target. When you're looking at commercials, for example, and, and they're showing you how someone's eating a hamburger or a food item, you know, the thing in your mind is, it's going to satisfy me, and that's the target. So actions usually have a target. The more you do something, the better you get at it. Repetition. First time you do it, it's the hardest. The more you do it, the easier it gets. The more you do something, the harder it gets to change. So actions are good because it can, it can create good habits or bad habits. An action is like planting a seed. You have these seasons. And the seasons start with the planting season, which is spring. So in spring, you plant. In the summer, you tend or you maintain. And the third is your harvest. So if I were to have a seed in my hand like this, you can ask yourself the question, what is it that you have? And what you have is, if this was a tomato plant, you'd have an infinite amount of tomato plants because every time you plant it, it comes up and it produces more seeds. And you can take those seeds and plant them and it produces more seeds. And you can take those seeds and you can plant them and it produces more seeds and you keep going on and on and on. And, and there's an interesting thing about a seed, which is if I had a stone and I planted the stone, you don't get more stones, you don't get anything because the seed has life. That's the difference between a stone and a seed. So, on day one here, I'm gonna take my ground here, I'm gonna poke my finger in there, and I'm gonna put my seed in it, and I'm gonna cover it up. And then I'm gonna put a little water on it, and then I'm gonna go away. And the next day, I'm gonna come over, and what do I have? I only have a piece of ground with a little wet spot on it. So I pour a little water on it, and then I go away, and I come back, and I do that for about 10 days. On the ninth day, I only have ground with a little water on it. And you know, pretty soon you're thinking, why am I doing this? This is 
crazy. All I have is a piece of ground with a little wet spot on it. This is crazy. But the thing is, is what your eyes are on is the target, it's the goal, it's, it's the harvest. You're thinking about those nice, juicy, red tomatoes. Okay, so that on the 10th day, you get a little green thing coming up. And you start really thinking about those tomatoes. You're going, oh boy, I can't wait. It's starting, right? Some people keep watering and watering and, and they get this, this plant with leaves on it. And then they get tired and they go away and they just let it go. And somebody else comes along and says, hey, look at this opportunity. Somebody's already got it started. And they start watering and watering and they take it through the summer and then they get all the tomatoes. <clears throat> The thing is about this, this plant, like I was saying, it's gonna produce a bunch of seeds. So with those seeds, you can plant more tomato plants and more tomato plants and so forth and so on. Now, this, this is another interesting thing. When you get to the harvest, you've done all this work this spring and this summer. And you come to the fall, which is usually for tomatoes, it's about three months. It's your harvest. Tomato comes out. You take the tomato off and you eat it and it's gone. So you spend all this time, you spent three months waiting for this tomato and in an instant it's gone. And so you did all this work to get to the harvest and it's gone. Of course it produces a lot more tomatoes and you keep watering and the bush it gets bigger and you get more tomatoes and so on and so on. Another interesting thing about planting is if I wanted carrots and I planted tomatoes, I'm gonna get tomatoes. No matter what I do, I'm gonna get tomatoes if I plant tomatoes. So the idea here is with your actions, if you want tomatoes, don't plant carrots. So everything we do, you have to realize, everything we do produces a harvest. So whatever you want, make sure you have a clear target and you work towards your target. Thank you.